Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about the click map. And I have to say, personally, I'm not using the click map uh, often, um, or I use it once, but I don't find it that valuable. I can understand people who are really obsessed about it, find it very valuable. So uh, I will still include it in this in this, uh, in this video series, because if you wanna use it, it's nice to know how to use it. So map name, it's gonna be build role U and the site is, I just copied it uh, quickly, it's over here. Is the website stretched by width? No, it's not. Website horizontal align. Uh, um, yes, it's stretched by width actually. Website stretched width, minimum width, maximum width. Uh, no, I'm just gonna leave this one off. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Then we have to do the same thing as we did with the um, browser notifications. We have to go to the HTML builder, go into our page layouts, then go to our settings. Sorry, that went really fast. Go to our layouts, go inside of the layout. Then over here, you've got the settings icon and you click on the layout settings, scroll down in scripts, make sure you're all the way in the end, press enter. And I always like to leave a line in between so it's really clear. And on the third line, we copy the heat map script. So we're gonna save that and we are going to save the website. And now what happened is that if we go here and we refresh the website and your user is now looking on the website, scrolling through the website and moving his mouse over here, perhaps click, you know, like click this button, click over there, maybe scroll over a few times over here. Maybe he's gonna do like this to read. I like to do that. Um, he's gonna go down and he's slowly checking out the website. Maybe he's clicking on the Facebook link, well, clicking on the Facebook link, coming back to the website, scrolling down, doing this, no, not doing this, uh, clicking on the picture, taking it away, checking another thing, and like, wow, okay, I wanna have this one, but what does this one have? Okay, let me see, this one goes, Lauren, the little, little up. he's reading it, he's reading it, he's reading it, then he's like, okay, I'm gonna press buy now. Hey, nothing happens. Okay, so I knew that, of course, I'm just trying to simulate the action of the user. So then the user goes back up and that's it. The user is done with the website, it's clicking it away. So now we go here and they don't have an exit button, which is a little bit weird, but we solve that with the click on the click map. And now we can say show map. So now you can see the heat map, the date from when, where the user is, where the user was, where the user pressed the button, how the user scrolled through the site, where his mouse actually clicked. And to me, I don't use it that much because I find it valuable to see where he's clicking, like which links is he clicking. So if you have a lot of links, it's valuable to see which links, which articles, which uh, follow through he's clicking on. But if you don't have that, then um, uh, I don't see a lot of reason to add this to your website. Although over time it can heat up. If you see a lot of people clicking on this button and never, never on this one, you might say, hey, um, and that's actually where it comes into play and where it adds some value is, let's say you run this for a year or for three months or a month even, and you see that out of all these offers, nobody clicks classic, they either click basic or premium, then hey, maybe your classic is wrong and you should redo something with your classic because you're not getting the clicks that you think you should get. If nobody clicks on pro, maybe the offer on pro is not right and you know it based on the sales you have, but you might know even more because a lot more people will click on the offer than actually buy the offer. You will always lose somebody along the way of your funnel. And to those of you who hear this for the first time, a funnel basically is a guided sales process. 
imagine you put an ad on Facebook. The moment you put an ad on Facebook, uh, a thousand people see the ad. But not everybody who sees the ad is gonna buy your product. So from the thousand people, or not even clicking on it. So from a thousand people, let's say 300 people would check out your ad. And this is already high. So if you manage to pull it off, but it's just to show an example of the numbers. So from the thousand people, 300 people will click on the ad. From the 300 people that will click on the ad, maybe, maybe 50 people will end up scrolling all the way down to your page. From those 50 people that end up all the way down on your page, maybe 25 people will actually click on an offer. From the 25 people that actually click on the offer, maybe five people will actually buy it. So now if you only look and judge your page and the quantity of your conversion or the quality of your conversion on the amount of sales, you only have a sample size of five to judge upon. Whereas if you see the amount of people that actually clicked, you get five times more. You get 25 people who actually made a click. So you can adjust your offer way quicker, way faster. And while I was talking about this, I figured out why it's actually interesting if you have a sales offer to put this on your page because you can get some serious data because the redder, the more red it is, the more hot it is. So this is the click map feature. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.